This is and the all best these opening day. What opening good if? Prem Prashad. Die. Yes, today is a yeah. Uh, Sixteen years. Oh, what is it? What oh. anniversary? Twenty fourth was it? Wow, what a you know what a steady and stable and increasing service. We are so proud of all the prime uh yeah, Prashad. Kar Karunas was there no, yes. at the beginning. Mm -hmm. And still uh, they continue this. And Kanai was there. <laughs> Gopal. Who? Gopal. German. German Gopal, he was also there. Wow. Another one Gopal. Another Gopal, huh? I think. Which Gopal good? Eh? Gopal. Gopal was German and Madhav also German. Ah, uh, Madhav, eh, that one with the beard, that who became a Jesus Bhakta now. The uh. one with the beard. Gopal and his wife. They were the ones living in the backyards when the uh. The apartments who are there now, they were still done with the cow dunk. Yes, good if I remember. Mm. Yeah. They started it. Madhava, that was the that one uh, special person from East Germany. Yes, we remember them. They started it. Yeah. Prashad Seva Ki Jai. <laughs> so today also we will hear about Prem Prashad, <laughs> but another Prem Prashad. Jivane Marane Gati Radha Krishna Prana Bhati Donhara Piriti Rasa Sukhe Yuga La Sangati Yara Mara Prana Ekata Rahu Mora Bukhe We continue verse 42 in Prema Bhakti Chandrika. I will read the verse again because last time Last Tuesday, we were mem remembering our dear Raghunath Das. Jai Rajabaya, Happy Christmas, Merry Christmas. <laughs> How long are you going to be? So Radha and Krishna, the monarchs of my heart, are my shelter in this life and in the next. Says Narottam Tastoku. Those who have become the eternal associates of the divine couple, having become overwhelmed by their blissful mutual love, these sakis and manjaris are the necklaces around my heart and around my neck. May this matter always remain in my heart so we continue this uh, purport because it's so deep and it's so uh, intense that we didn't finish finish it the last two times radha krishna the monarchs of my heart When the sadaka reaches the level of rati, he perceives his siddhasvarup day and night, and he forgets about his or her present body. That is a very, very interesting and always fresh subject in our lives, how to increase rati, attachment. Attachment is actually the force of love. 
And that's why we are listening all the time about Rati Manjari. Our Tulsi Manjari, we know. Our Vilapkush Manjali. It's all about that Rati. And who is that, you know, who is that personified Rati? It's Tulsi Manjari or Rati Manjari. Her desire to serve and to love Shimati Radhika are so intense that she is always rolling on the bank and Radhakund as Raghunath Das Goswami. And we know Raghunath Das Goswami is our Prem Prayojan Acharya, means he or she is showing us how to live in Rati, how to live in this complete absorption of the spiritual identity. And in Prema Bhakti Chandrika is also very interesting how Naratam Das Thako is always again and again speaking and explaining how to live in this spiritual absorption of our spiritual identity. First of all, Gurudev always explains that Rati is the wife of Kamadev. So this Rati is the Rati on the material level. But this is natural because we have Rati for our life, you know, for our life story. We want to live a life with full of love and attachments. It is natural to love our children, our, our partner, our father, our mother, our dogs and our cats. It's natural because we want to feel this Rati. <laughs> Now is uh, the question how to put this rati, this feeling of a fire, it's an intense fire in the heart. And that needs to be transferred or, or transferred or let's say purified into our spiritual existence, into our spiritual identity. Because otherwise this rati is binding us here to come again and again in these circles of the rati of this material energy because attachment is all that keeps us involved right sometimes in the american language we say this person is not at involved <laughs> when somebody wants to get married then the brothers are checking is that person involved with my sister are they really serious are they in Rati, do they really want to care, want to give their life? So also in our spiritual lives, when the sadaka reaches that level of intense attachment, means day and night there is this desire like a burning fire in my heart. I want to be in the association of like-minded devotees. I want to feel the kirtan that is full of rati. So rati is not only attachment, what I listen from your words. It's a kind of identification. Attachment is there, but I'm fully identified with my spiritual identification. And because of this, it is day and night because I feel that I'm a manjari and this is not only daytime, it's day and night. So rati is even more than attachment. Rati is the fully identification with my spiritual form and feeling, right? Yes. This I understand from your words. Yes, this is not my words. This is actually our... Naratam Das Thakur is saying it, and our Baba, Ananda Das Babaji is commenting, when the sadhaka, the one who is practicing sadhana, raga sadhana, reaches the level of rati. Level of rati. 
this is this is the point the level of rati that is the moment when i identify myself as a manjari then rati is there because i know myself and i know my ishta devi and then is babula's rati is unshakable i'm fixed in my own position i know my person i know my service and i know my ishta dev so this is complete then and, and this is a, a full rati it's beautiful and this i get because of mercy of guru dev he can connect me with my eternal form and he will connect me when i know who i am with my ishta devi and so then rati is following this then rati is coming is there day and night yes and rati as gurudev is always telling us is giving rupa that is the process that gora sumna wow. was just giving because rati and rupa manjaris they are connected eternally and they also come to this world as sadakas as of course eternal associates of chaitanya but they are also connected you cannot divide them you cannot separate them no rupa and rati are together because rati will give rupa this is what is explained <laughs> here when there is a lot of mercy of rati of rati manjari or tulasi manjari then she will reveal to us rupa manjari that's what good if always explain to us if we want to understand rupa manjari rupa goswami we need to go through the mercy of rati or tulsi manjari because the disciple will reveal the mano bishta the eternal desires of their spiritual master or in that case also their guru manjari because rupa goswami he was giving all in his bhakti rasamrita sindhu but who was giving the example by living it by giving us the feelings in their prayers in their bhajan it is rati manjari or tulsi manjari or our raghunath das mm. goswami and this is how we understand that rati will give rupa we can we can feel it on different levels we can feel it if we meditate about our goswamis and then we can meditate on the manjaris and also we can meditate on the meaning of the words rati means deep attachment without any uh, how do you say you know flickering ups and downs no no we are identified with our body with our rupa yes we'll give this so, rupa rati and rupa fits together so i feel as a manjari so i can see myself inside in the form of the manjari and gurudev will tell me who i am in that form my name he will give me my name and he will tell me about my form he will tell me about the color of my clothes he will tell me about the color of my body he will give me the seva he knows about the kunja i am serving so rati and rupa fits together so without rati no rupa and rupa without rati not working they need to be together and then it's so beautiful in our case we are connected with the rupa of a manjari and with the rati of a manjari babula's rati is this fixed it's a style there is no possible that we, one can shake us nobody can change this 
in this life, maybe someone can change. Sometimes we are married, sometimes not. So we are identified as a husband, or then we are again uh, another uh, uh, position. But Rati in the spiritual life, nobody can change. And Rupa, nobody can change. It's a eternal. Because in this form, we are eternal. Our soul find the real homeland. This is Vrindavan. Our homeland, we belong in our Rati and our Rupa to Vrindavan. Because we serving the queen of Vrindavan. And this is our Radhika. And so this is the beauty of this, what Suniti is just reading, Rupa and Rati. And Gurudev gives the eyes to see this, to feel this, to identify with Rupa and Rati. And so we can, we can speak about ourselves as a Rupa Anuga. This is our line. Yes, and we also, we know from our songs, Chi Guru Charane Rati Ese Uttama Bhakti That attachment, that Rati starts with the attachment to the lotus feet of Sri Guru. And then we meditate, who is Sri Guru? She is Radha Priyayai and Premarupayai. She is the manifestation of the mercy of Srimati Radhika. Prema Rupa is the form of love. This is what is meaning of Prema Rupa. And so by, the, by His mercy, we get this love. We, give the, we get the form of love because we are the servant of Radhika. And she is personification of love. So we the servant of love. And in this way, our form is similar to this feelings of our Swamini. So it become Prema Rupa, form of love. And this we have to identify 24 hours. Then it's day and night, what is described here. So beautiful, no? Isn't it? Very beautiful. And there is a process also. We start with Shri Guru Charame Rati, because that will reveal the ultimate goal to me. And then, by the mercy of a lot of association with that Rati that Gurudev is having, and also giving by sharing into my heart, then there will be more and more attachment to that spiritual process that will guide us to develop and realize my own spiritual forms. Because Gurudev says, even when we have gotten our Siddha Pranalis, the information itself is not enough. We need to deeply meditate. And, you know, we have our mantras, but how to develop also attachment to chanting them with their deepest feeling of desire, of this fire in the heart. That is also mercy of being with like-minded devotees. And when that comes to a very high level of intensity, then there will be perception of the Siddhasvarup day and night. And he forgets about his present body. Means we are still in the body, but also we are out. We are in the spiritual realm, in the spiritual feelings. And this is the kind of association that I need to also develop more rati. That's why we are reading also all the time Vilapa Kushmanjali. Because Tulsi Manjari is full of Rati because she is the personification of Shimati Radhika's Rati for Mohan. 
Shrimati Radhika herself is the source of all rati, of all attachment, how to please her beloved. What makes attachment? It's love. Love makes attachment. So I can recognize this. Yesterday we was in our family and there was three babies. This year we got three babies. Grandchildren. Grandchildren. And by nature, one, one will love them when you see these babies because the love of Radhika is uncovered in the, in the children. Even in animal children, we laugh so much when we see these big eyes of the small cat and small dog and so, but even more in our own grandchildren in our case. When we see their eyes, the love is flowing without covering because they have no identification with the material. So the love is free flowing. And so when we see in their eyes, we feel their love. And so our love is also coming. And this makes attached attachment. But in our case, we recognize the source of their love, where it's coming from. And we will be the servant of the source of the love. And this is our Swamini. We can see and feel her through the love of our relatives. It's all Swamini's mercy. And she is uh, durchdringend. What says this? Permeating. Hmm? Permeating. Permeating. With her love, the whole universe. But to see... It's a different thing because our hearts are covered with wrong identifications. If we open our heart and lose this all our identification step by step, then the love still is open and free to flow as we are the servant of this source of love, of Radhika. So we found the goal of our life in her. And we can do service to her, and that's the beauty. Yes, the baby and the mother, they are naturally interlinked by the heart. So when the baby is not with the mother, the mother is always with the baby. That is a natural attachment we find in this world. And we have heard so many times how it is so natural when the mother goes to work that she will always think of her baby. At one time in you know, growing a baby, there will be after maybe two or three years a time when the mother usually they go to work, they have to go out again. And uh, But still, even when they are in their workplace for some hours or what, then they always meditate on the baby, on their child, on their beloved. And so, in the same way, we also want to come to that stage of this natural attachment to our Shri Guru, to our Shri Radhi. We get Guru Nishta, faith in Shri Guru. We get Ishta Nishta, and then we develop Svarup Nishta. That is a development, and that is coming by love. It is not so complicated because love has the tendency to always grow. If it is pure love, if it is unselfish love, it will grow. It will always increase. That is the nature of Rati. And we can, uh, we don't even, uh, we don't need books for this. We can learn from mother and baby that it's a natural. But because we are identified with the material body, we think we can see the divine with these eyes. But this is not possible. And for this, we need divine eyes. And this eyes is we get by the mercy of Gurudev when he is opening us our real identification as a manjari. So 
In this case, we get spiritualized eyes if we are starting to identify ourselves with a manjari. And then, with this eyes of a manjari, we can see our Swamini. We can feel her, and then we are in a different mood. And then Rati is fixing ourselves in this. And we will never move because we see the truth and we feel the truth, the real, what is real and not what is temporary like in this world. And this is the beauty of our way we follow now. Chakshuda nadiloye jamne jamne prabhu se devya gyan ride prakashito My eyes that were blind by that divine knowledge, they will be opened by the balm of love. And then Dibya Gyan, the transcendental knowledge or the transcendental vision will reveal in my heart. Yeah, we see many miracles Jesus did. And some of this was uh, to make blind people see. And the meaning behind this is that we all blind as long as we have no spiritual eyes. We cannot see the truth. We cannot see our Swamini with material eyes. It's not possible. So we need spiritual eyes. And then how Gurudev say, we drink with the eyes. No? Very thirsty eyes always drink the beauty of Radha And Mahan. also with the ears. And they are. No drinking with the eyes, no drinking with the ears. With the ears and, and Gurudev, what was it? What was it with the eyes? Drinking with the ears? <laughs> it was two. These are my drinking from the ears. Yes, drinking from the ears. And talking from ears. Uh, ah, that <laughs> Talking from the eyes. Mm. Drinking from the ears, talking from the eyes. Mm. That is coming. That is what we like to live in this consciousness. That is rati, that is intense greed. Rupa. And then the Rupa will manifest. The spiritual identity will, will, you know, manifest through so much love. There will be an eternal connection which is already there in the navel to navel connection. But it will manifest day and night. Yeah, Baba this says. Rupa will not leave us. This Rupa is including this ears and eyes who are drinking and talking. And wherever I look, I will always see you. Yeah. My dear Shimati Radhika, my dear Gurudev, because you belong together. You are a very transcendental team calling all of us back home to Goloka. In the spiritual consciousness that is full of love and full of uh, attachment that is guiding us and also others who are interested into the spiritual realm. So when the sadhaka reaches the level of rati, he perceives his siddhasvarup or transcendental form and feelings. It is an all-inclusive package. It's not only, okay, I am this and that, Mandari, and then uh, it's a flat, you know, like a flat, uh, how do you say that, feeling. No, it is something that is vibrating through all our relationships, through all our uh, daily interactions with people. And we can, uh, how do you say, 
we get the mercy to 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 feel it more and more and not only when we are in the temple or when we are in vrindavan no but it is something that vrindavan will come wherever these devotees are going like we were traveling also with gurudev and he brought vrindavan wherever he went that is the mercy of the the love that is so intense that at not any time we will forget who we are in our eternal forms and in our eternal selves that are so sweet and so loyal and so much always close with Swamini that it shines through. In that state of Siddha Svarup, he also considers the lotus feet of Radha and Mohan, his only shelter in life or in death. It's not that, oh, now I have realized something, uh, now it's all automatic. No, that same eagerness and that same prayers are still always there. And always this uh, intense fire of, of love to Radha Mohan is uh, the motivation and the engine behind all activities, and that is called love in action. Now comes the nice point that Baba makes. Although there is indeed no question of life or death within the Siddha Swarup or the spiritual form and identity of such, still in the human-like transcendental pastimes, the Swarup Avishta Sadaka considers himself as an ordinary soul, subject to birth, death, old age, and disease, as do indeed even the Nitya Siddha. Go past and go peace. And I don't understand. Can you repeat? Yes. Although there is indeed no question of life or death within the Siddha Svarup, means, you know, once our spiritual identity is in Staibhav, like in Raghunathas Goswami's or uh, Rati Manjari's case, even they appear here on this planet Earth in their sadaka forms, they always feel they are persons who are, you know, influenced like human beings by birth and death. Although we call them the Nitya Parivars, the eternal associates of Radha and Mohan or of Gauranga. So that is uh, the nature also of the human-like pastimes, or they are called uh, Lokik Sabanduvat. They are, you know, eternal friends like Rupa and Rati or like uh, all the inhabitants of Vrindavan who come to this planet. But still, they always feel that they are ordinary human beings. And why? In this way, the flavors of Sri Radha Mohan's sweet human-like pastimes are nicely achieved. It is a special flavor because we are speaking about human-like feelings and human-like relations. And these are not artificially produced in eternity. You know, it's not that the Brajabasis, they think, oh, we are anyway are eternal. No, no need to care about anything. No. Ada is cooking for Mohan every day. She is walking to uh, Mother Yashoda's kitchen, to Nandagaon. And every day, full of anxiety and, you know, happiness. Oh God, what, you know, what will happen today when our eyes meet? How can I cook today? How can I express my feelings? How can I uh, 
you know, get the mercy of Mother Yashoda that she will bless me, that I always come there to cook and my maidservants. I need their help. Otherwise, I am stumbling even on the way to go there. Even Srimati Radhika herself, she always feels she needs the support of her dasis. In any moment, that is the Naravat Lila, the human-like feelings that we have even in the eternal Lila. And that is also carried down here to this planet Earth when Rupa and Raghunath Goswami come here or when Chaitanya, when Radha and Mohan come here. Always they are helping each other. Always they are, you know, ready to give their lives for each other. Although Baba says there is no question of life and death anymore once we have reached the level of Svap, Svarup Avesh, means our absorption in eternal identity. But because it is a quality of Goloka Vrindavan, that it is a human-like feeling and a human-like love, that is the beauty of needing each other in the service. That's why Rupa Manjari or Rati Manjari, they are walking behind Srimati Radhika to hold her waist. And they are, you know, guiding her. And Srimati Radhika needs the help also. She is sending them. She is giving them messages from Mohan. They are never in this identity that we are here, the eternal God and Goddess. Never. They are always in that eternal Leela of their human-like feelings and the obstacles that need to be overcome every day. And still, that is an ever-fresh experience. In this way, the flavors of Sri Radha Mohan's sweet human-like pastimes are nicely achieved. So even Raghuna Das, although he is Rati Manjari, but he still feels, when will I be able to serve my Swamini again today? I have lost it. I'm out. Am I not always out? No. Actually, she's always in. But because of the helping the sadhakas and for achieving that Naravat Leela feelings, they always feel themselves as ordinary sadhakas. That is a mystery in itself. Did I explain this right, Gurudev? Can you please help? You said very nice, beautiful. <laughs> it's a mystery to meditate about the eternity and at the same time, the human-like feelings and that is in the service of Radha and Mohan. I remember also Purnamasi. Mm -hmm. She is the great, you know, mystic and astrologer in Galoka Vrindavan. She is the greatest and the oldest lady. She is like a, a wise, you know, a wise person that everyone is asking for advice. And she also has uh, knowledge about the past, the present, and the future. And when Radha and Mohan were very small kids living in their parents' home, no, Krishna living in Nanda Gaon with Nanda Baba and Yashoda Ma and Balaram and Radhika with Kirti Dhamma and uh, Rishabhanu Baba, they already were so much in love that their parents thought it's only, you know, the right match. We need to get them together. They are naturally attracted to each other. And they were already making plans. They fell in love with each other's babies. Speaking about babies. <laughs> <laughs> Kirti Damaj, he loved uh, little baby Krishna so much. And Yashoda Ma, 
they, you know, they just clicked together and they were already making plans to get them married because all the bridge bosses, they saw their natural love. They were floating in this love and they are, you know, completely uh, excited to have them together all the time because that is bridge Brajabasi and also Manjaris. They want that. But what happened? By divine arrangement, Purnamasi made the charts, compared the astrological compatibility. And she she was very sad, but that, you know, she had to tell them that, I'm sorry, if they get married, it will be very harmful for their lives. And they were so, so, so sad. You can imagine how sad they are. But this yes, was... because also there is this one story that Radhika even not opened her eyes before she saw Krishna. Right. I, so they know they are made for each other. And uh, yes, and now they listen this, and this is very hard. And see, again, this is what Baba says here. In this way, the flavors of Sri Radha Mohan's sweet human-like pastimes are nicely achieved. So the question is, why they never get married? Because it would not serve the nature of their relationship that is eternally full of this desire to meet each other in Parakya Bhav. In that feeling that we have to somehow accomplish our meeting and nobody should know about it. Because they say that we cannot be together. <laughs> because, you know, there is different realms in the spiritual dimensions. And the realm that we are heading for, so to say, and worshipping, and that is our place, is Goloka Vrindavan. And that Goloka Vrindavan is eternally in that mood that Radha and Krishna are secret paramours or romantic, romantic lovers, which never really get each other in such a way as conventional, conventional relationships that are bound by the links of marriage are accomplished. Because that kind of relationship is happening in another realm, in another portion of the spiritual sky. And in that realm, there is no need for any manjaris. We would not be needed there. Because what I've explained so many times, when a couple is married, what is the need of any helpers to accomplish their meetings? They have their apartments, they have their house, they close their doors and they will have a family happy ever after or whatever. But that is not the feeling or the mood of the, the portion of Goloka Dham where Radha and Krishna are eternally trying to meet each other in a hidden way. That is another rasa. That is another feeling of taste, of eternal longing. And in that case of their relationship, they need helpers on the way to meet each other, to overcome the obstacles, to get dressed, to get, you know, ornamented, to get decorated. It's called the Shringara Rasa. And in the moment the baby is there, the mother will put her uh, off some interest. Time. Of make some kind of attention. attention to the baby and less to the husband. Father. And because this would be a disturbance on Radhika's uh, mood towards Mohan, she will always do what he liked, what he liked most. And he, he need this one-pointed attention of her. There are other abodes where it happened with babies, 
but this is not our place we will desire to come through and take part of this we like to take part of this ever young couple who meets ever fresh young love and we prepare the situation and help them to meet like in the mahamanta hare krishna meets hare ram they are together this is our seva and we our feelings and our prema is this when they are together and when we when we remember them radhika on mohan and we do some arrangements preparing the kunja all this this is our mood this is our home so we are only fixed in this we see not other lila we see only this yugala what is it suniti this is this parakya bhav in shringara ras in madura rati this feelings that the mantris have towards shrimati radhika as their one and only we need to help our swamini she needs my help this is she the highest me this is you are mine swamini so the lord can make babies from every stone <laughs> jesus said because the jews said oh we are the sons of abraham and then jesus said if god likes he can make from every stone babies mm. sons of abraham and no problem for him <laughs> <laughs> but this is in our case we are servants of the yugala of the young love of radha and moha we are the babies of swamini eternally and she likes to give all the jivas a chance by coming as gorangi goranga to invite them to that eternal leela the highest leela that is possible for any jiva to attain or to enter by mercy in this kali yuga with the mercy of chaitanya and all the you know devotees who have come to help all the dasis that are here now and that are inviting those who are attracted to serve in this way to become a dasi and to not even become but to get the causeless mercy to be you know an eternal dasi of shrimati radhika through the mercy of chaitanya and our gurudev and all the vaishnavas the gaudiya vaishnavas who are here now at this time of of uh, universal timing let's say like that to give this unnata ujvalaras that unexpected gift that no that was never given like that before not like that it comes rarely only once in a day of brahma goranga will appear radha and mohan appear together so this is a rare time a rare chance and we are very lucky that we have this kind of connection now we are already connected with gurudev through the navel connection this is our navel connection so we are practicing and praying praying that gurudev will give us the mercy to connect us more and more with swamini and that we also become more and more deeply absorbed in that in all our existence and all our beings shining with that love that swamini is giving and that gurudev is giving as a messenger of swamini to us jai shri radhe anybody would like to share on this or you know inspire us also radhe radhe suniti gora sundara that one one he did hi did did you already give so much hint all all together it's very, it was very nice i just want to underline what uh, come to me very strongly uh, you said that uh, 
actually uh, Madhurya Rasa, this uh, Parakya Rasa will not be possible without Manjaris. So in one way, uh, it give, give me uh, the time so important actually for them. <laughs> Somehow, I'm like a Manjari, all Manjari are personification of their Parakya Rasa. So uh, this come to me after you're speaking, after your hints, and it gives so much uh, encouragement that we are so important in that. Yeah. So, Swamini so needs us also. We need Swamini and she needs us. That is that special mercy. Even Revealed. more like baby, like baby of Radhika, but even more, we are part of that. We are part of this Vrindavan Lila. It's, uh. it's, if we are out, there is no Vrindavan. If <laughs> and we are part of Vrindavan, so it's very, it's come to me very strongly after your hints. Thank you so much. <laughs> this is the so mercy. Nice. Gora Sundara oh. is here today blessing us because he yeah. is the beauty of Gora, so he can remind us. He is the Darcy of the beauty of Gora and what is the meaning of Gora? Golden. The only thing I tried is to accept the words of my Guru there. I really try to accept his words and bring that in my life, what he is teaching. This is, uh, uh, what is it, Sharanagati? I think it, is it Sharanagati? Yes. It's, this is meaning of Sharanagati. If we accept his words, then this is, for me, it's uh, like Sharanagati. And uh, then we try, we start with some feelings and uh, it's all Gurudev's mercy. It's, uh, but after all, we have to accept that it's when he accept us, he will bring to Swamini and before we can enter the Seva, she has to accept. She is the only authority to accept us, us as her Manjari. There is no other authority. There is no God who will accept us as Swamini's Manjari. No God will do this because he has not this authority. He has not the power. Can you imagine? There is one who has more power than God. And this is Gurudev say it's uh, Sumum Bonum. <laughs> 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 I think it's also Italian word, uh, Latin, huh? Tumum bonum. And she is even the authority of her own mercy. And only through her we can get it. And who brought this mercy? That was our Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He came in the mood of our Swamini and with her authority. So, he got all what is authority from our Swamini. Empowerment. Yes. Empowerment. She empowered him that he can uh, call us a, a Manjari. Otherwise, if God came only without Swamini, he, he cannot give the mercy to make a manjari or to accept the manjari. <laughs> so, this is the, the, the beauty of, of Mahaprabhu, that God got the blessing of Swamini, that he also can uh, accept us as her manjari. This yes. is a unique that never happened. Vishnu cannot make a, a manjari. No other. Krishna himself he cannot do. Krishna himself, he says in Bhagavad Gita, I cannot understand myself without my inner energy. You know, that verse that is quoted a lot of times. I think it's 10.15. And then he says also in 10.10, 10, I give the mercy by which you come to me. And then Prabhupada says, 
if we are assigned with Krishna, then slowly and surely he will connect us with the ultimate goal. So we know here the ultimate goal is not Krishna, but he shows us the process by which we can uh, go into the shelter of our Swamini. And as Prabhupada says, that will happen when we are in our normal position in the pleasure-giving potency. And Krishna is giving that mercy to do that. He even himself wants to get that mercy. That's why we understand that Chaitanya is also relishing Manjari Bhav because Krishna was a foreigner to that kind of service and feelings of the Dasis. And he wanted to relish that also. And he was relishing it through, you know, becoming or coming as Chaitanya. And yeah. also at the same time, distributing that possibility, that prema, that highest and un, you know, unknown prema before. That's a beauty. When Gurudev explained his vision, when Nitai and Goranga came in a vision from his altar of Radha Mohan, he could, he could saw them dancing like mad. And he said, there is no imagination to see this dance. And we can, what I got in this Christmas, when I meditate on this dance, they, Goranga always dance and sing Hari Bo and Hari Krishna. He is always this in this ecstasy. And I could understand that there are actually three kinds of ecstasy because he is Rata and he is Mohan and he is also in the feeling of the Manjari. So three kinds of ecstasy are there in his dance. Dancing in his heart. Dancing. And there is when he is dancing and crying, then he is uh, uh, chanting the Mahamanta, Hare Krishna, and then Hare Rama. He can, one is when he see, when he dance and is in ecstasy of, in the feeling of Mohan, he can see Swamini and then he can see when they are together. He can feel. Then when he is in the mood of Radhika, he see the same, but he now he see, he see is watching Mohan. And the feeling of Mohan, he sees Swamini, Hare Krishna, both are there. And then both can see them in the union and he, they can feel. And this is his ecstasy as in the feeling as one is Mohan, one time Swamini. And then Feeling them together. Well, together. And then the third ecstasy is what he showed to the, to us. Because it's no, for us, it's no need to come in the feeling of Mohan or, or even Swamini. We have to come in the feeling of a Manjari. And this is, this ecstasy we can see and feel when he is in Manjari Bhav, when the, in the feeling of, of his own servant, of the servant of his Radhika. And this, we can get this ecstasy. And then we will dance like mad <laughs> if we enter in this feeling of a Manjari when they see Rata and Mohan together. There is the highest feeling of the Manjari when the divine couple are together. And this is the beauty of Gurudev's realization. If you enter in this, everything is, is there. And this is the beauty of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And this only Manjari will understand him. Others cannot understand this intense feelings of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Who can understand? He, even he, for him, is very, very hard to understand <laughs> because his mood is 
Three so, in one, so, three in so, one, play. So three ecstasy, three, three are, kinds of ecstasy. Three are playing in one. This is <laughs> Chaitanya. This is by, by Guru Dev's mercy, we, we will get, uh, we can enter in the feeling of Mahaprabhu. So, our Sundaram has arrived. Jai Shridhar Sundaram. <laughs> Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Dandavad. Dandavad. So, I think we have to stop now, although we are by the mercy of Gurudev in a very nice flow today of the mercy of Chaitanya. And of course, our Swamini, we, who we see everywhere. Wherever I look, I only see you. So, thank you all so much for coming and inspiring us. Jai Brajeshwari Priya, Jai Mahayuga Shakti, and all Vrinda Didi, and Dayanidhi Das, and everyone, and all our. How oh, many? Yes. Many came. Ananda Mai and also um, from Japan. Mayoga Shakti. Prema Maduri. Udavadas, Brajabasi, all are here. Utkalika Vadas. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. You are spreading so the message of, yeah. of, of Chaitanya, of Gurudev. Thank you very much. Thank you for your example. <laughs> Thank you good, all. Good, good Christmas times. Rade, rade. Happy Christmas. Merry Christmas to Italy and to wherever you are in the world. And thank you also very much. And thank you, Gurudev, for giving us your heart. The heart that you got from our, from your Gurudev, from Radha Govinda Das Babaji.